this is the third um, uh, workshop that in third day in our workshops right across a few days. Uh, and just to reflect back for those who weren't there, um, all of it is, by the way, re accessible online. Uh, but the first day was on global coordination, uh, global roles and mechanisms during health emergency. Um, I, Michael Kramer talked about the tension between needing new approaches while reinforcing existing ones, which Mike Ryan really uh, weighed in on, uh, and finding that balance. The, the principle, the importance of end-to-end -end financing, that came up again in today's plenary about uh, investment in R&D, not just one piece of that uh, chain, but the whole end-to-end. -end. Uh, there was another panel on day one on one health governance gaps and opportunities, um, uh, which uh, all these outbreaks are increasingly recognized, the importance of the uh, one health approach. Um, and, and seeing each time that we're looking at the gaps and trying to improve moving forward. Um, at the same time, what's next will be different, but what should we be looking for? What are the questions we should be asking? Uh, one suggestion was increasing biosecurity and surveillance, not waiting for the next pandemic but or outbreak, but uh, now. Uh, as preparedness, improving risk assessment technology and approaches, uh, anticipating risk better in an increasingly complex environment. Uh, we had some breakouts in, in day one uh, on the, the amazing progress that was made in some of the, in some of the science, um, but also the value of data transparency and, and sharing uh, the importance of collective um, responses. Um, and and technologies, uh, financing has come up, uh, you know, throughout all of the days, um, and where people are weighing uh, financing and financial risks and and public health um, mandates. Um, the second day was more focused on the supply chain uh, cascade. Uh, we had one key panel that was on uh, upstream supply challenges and the downstream implications. Um, talking about the connectedness, if there's one big thing that we've certainly seen is how inter interdependent uh, the world is right now. And, and we've certainly seen that in the context of vaccines. Uh, and also um, uh, the implications of in the context of a pandemic with with borders changing, with, with uh, people working in any piece of the system uh, being sick, uh, how, do you, how do we have uh, resilience? How do, how do we can anticipate, how can we anticipate this uh, moving forward? Uh, the importance of global transparency and coordination in vaccine manufacturing, but looking at where we need more capacity and tech transfer. Um, there was uh, another panel on the last mile of delivery of, of uh, medical products, looking at vulnerable populations um, and reaching um, as far and wide as we can, but not waiting to discover that they don't have them, but already anticipating where we know the gaps will be. Um, the breakouts in the, um, I'm sorry, these are very abbreviated summaries of what was really a long and rich uh, discussion in both, both days. Um, the importance of uh, getting low and middle income countries in the pandemic response um, and, and their capacity, uh, not just reaching the hard to reach, but having local uh, supply and, and capacity and the importance of uh, public-private partnerships. Um, again, I'm sorry, this, these are kind of abbreviated summaries. Um, they, they really were uh, long and um, uh, rich discussions. Uh, today, uh, also, some of the same themes of uh, the end-to-end -end financing, thinking of context, uh, recognizing that lessons learned are important, but also remembering that the next situation is going to be different. Um, how can we distill um, lessons not just 
for what they were then, but what are the questions, what are the types of things we should uh, anticipate, uh, what are our assumptions, and in the session I was just in this issue of maybe we should question our assumptions, uh, you know, we, we do like to assume that people will be on board um, with this you know, moral mandate with, with vaccines or whatever the um, preparedness measures needed. And that's not always the case. Um, I'm gonna wrap up there um, and just say, let's see. Um, I would encourage you to try to um, look online uh, if there are sessions you weren't able to attend. Um, I, I just also want to um, thank the sponsors, the Office of Global Affairs, DHHS especially, uh, Larry Kerr, the Director of Office of Pandemics and Emerging Threats, uh, for his support of this really important critical work. Uh, the Workshop Planning Committee, which I had the honor to chair, uh, many of whom stepped in as moderators and discussants for this um, really valuable workshop. Uh, thanks to uh, Fiona Atu Ebe, uh, Beverly Taylor, Ciro Ugarte, Paulo Barbosa, Malik Paris, Ben Adenoy, uh, John Simpson, and Julie Swan. Thanks uh, so much, and all to all of our speakers and breakout discussions. Uh, for sharing their knowledge, their experience, insights to advance our um, understanding of equitable responses to the pandemic. Equity is a huge theme that has crossed all three days. Uh, we're still uh, challenged by the importance of uh, gaining equity in the response. Um, and special thanks to the keynote, uh, Dr. John Nkengasong, Director of the Africa CDC, uh, who has was taken, uh, shown um, enormous leadership um, in this really challenging time um, and for his uh, helpful remarks on the COVID response in Africa and a, a real special recognition to the National Academy of Medicine for the guidance and support for this international workshop. Um, thanks very much for those who do want to rewatch uh, the videos or to watch them if you didn't have an opportunity to participate. They will be archived on each respective meeting day um, where uh, you can watch the live stream uh, one week after each event. So this one will be in a week and the previous ones following. The discussions will also be written up. Uh, there will be formal uh, proceeding document uh, by the National Academies and will be released alongside the four consensus studies uh, later in the fall. Thank you again. Um, this has been really a, a tremendous journey from the beginning uh, of all the organization uh, through to these last workshops. Thanks very much. <laughs>